It gives me great pleasure to address the 2022 New Economy Forum in a virtual format. On behalf of the Chinese government, I extend warm congratulations on the opening of this forum and best regards to all participants. As we speak, changes unseen in a century are unfolding at a faster pace across the world. Global peace and development face more instabilities and uncertainties. The theme of this forum, Lighting a Path Through a Storm, shows the aspiration of the international community to grasp the global dynamics, build consensus, and find joint solutions to the issues of our times. What China proposes is that we should set eyes on the long term, maintain a global vision, firm up confidence, and light the path forward by fostering a community with a shared future for mankind. First, we should light the path toward common security and safeguard world peace and tranquility. Security of a country should not be built on the insecurity of others. Genuine security is achieved only when all countries are secure. The Global Security Initiative proposed by President Xi Jinping contributes China's solutions to address the deficit in world peace and security. Countries need to cast aside Cold War mentality, reject bloc confrontation, and build balanced, effective, and sustainable regional and global security architectures so as to achieve lasting peace and universal security. Second, we should light the path toward mutual benefit and advance common development across the world. Development holds the key to resolving many tough issues in the world. Only when people of all countries enjoy better lives can prosperity be sustained and security maintained. China will work with all sides to deepen high-quality Belt and Road cooperation, deliver on the Global Development Initiative, and earnestly implement the United Nations 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development to ensure that the benefits of development are shared by people of all countries. Third, we should light the path toward greater innovation and promote sustained progress of humanity. We live at a time fraught with new problems and challenges. The way forward lies in our courage, ability, and a sense of cooperation in pursuing innovation. We must rise up to challenges and advance innovation in technologies, thinking, and institutions. We need to promote development of modern industries, bridge the digital divide, accelerate transitions to green and low-carbon growth, foster new growth drivers, and explore new paths toward global development. Dear guests, Last month, the Communist Party of China convened its 20th National Congress. It laid out strategic plans for advancing the cause of the party and the country going forward, and produced the new CPC central leadership with Comrade Xi Jinping at its core. The Congress also proposed promoting national rejuvenation through a Chinese path to modernization. All this marks the beginning of a new journey to build a modern socialist country in all respects. The CPC and the Chinese government will maintain strong policy continuity to provide greater certainties and stability for the world. We will work to advance common prosperity. Delivering happy lives for the Chinese people is our abiding commitment. 
China will stay committed to the philosophy of people-centered development and strive for high-quality development to ensure both material abundance and cultural ethical enrichment of its peoples and promote harmony between humanity and nature. The advance toward modernization for the 1.4 billion Chinese people will also bring greater development opportunities for all countries. We will continue to deepen high-level opening up. Opening up is China's basic state policy. Hence, China will stay on the course of economic globalization, take more proactive steps to expand and deepen opening up in wider areas, and steadily advance institutional opening up in rules, regulations, management, and standards. China will uphold the security and stability of global industrial and supply chains and work to build an open world economy that delivers benefits to all. We will unswervingly follow the path of peaceful development. Upholding world peace and stability is in the fundamental interest of the Chinese nation. And it is a basic attribute of socialism with Chinese characteristics. China safeguards and promotes world peace through its own development. No matter what stage of development it reaches, China will always stay committed to the principle of equality of all countries, regardless of their size, strength, or wealth. China will never seek hegemony or engage in expansionism, and will always stand up for justice and oppose bullying acts. Dear guests, China and the United States, as two major countries, both stand to gain from cooperation and lose from confrontation. It's both, both incumbent and imperative for the two countries to explore the right way to get along in the new era. Yesterday, President Xi Jinping and President Joe Biden held their first face-to-face -face meeting and had strategic communication on China-U.S. relations and other topics of mutual interest. We hope that the U.S. side will work with China in the same direction, uphold the principles of mutual respect, peaceful coexistence, and win-win cooperation, and bring bilateral relations back to the right track. This will benefit not just the two countries, but also the world at large. Dear guests, as we set out on the path, we see a bright future ahead. Let us join hands to pursue the just course, tide over difficulties together, and create an even better future for humanity. I wish this forum a full success. Thank you.